Hey guys, I'm Melissa and I'm from Zola. Zola is the wedding company that will do anything for love and we make wedding planning so much easier. We offer save the dates and invitations, a free wedding website, and of course, Zola registry. I am Zola's VIP registry advisor and I'm also a Zola bride myself. I hear so many questions from almost all of our couples. Top question is, how do I even get started? So sit back, relax, and let's discuss all the ways that we can start building your registry together. Step one, this is my favorite, walk around your home. So what I want you to do is pour yourself a glass of wine, maybe a cup of tea, and grab your significant other. Play some music and get ready for a date night in before you start building your registry. What's great to do is to actually walk around your home, open up cabinets, notice what's missing and ask yourself, do I have a full set of sheets? When's the last time you two got new luggage? Are my pots and pans hand-me-downs? What about my flatware? Can I use a replacement because these are from college? When I did this with my husband, I realized we could use a ton of practical things. New flatware, new knives, new sheets, new baking dishes, even new pirate. Plus, I love baking, so I was ready to upgrade everything, including my spatulas. As you notice what's missing, as you notice what needs an upgrade, then you can begin to piece this together and add it onto your registry. Step two, think about your future. So a lot of couples say, but I don't have space for everything, and I get it, I am the same way but think about your future and where you may be living and what your life may be like. You might have a backyard, you might have a family room, you may even have a basement that you can turn into a really cool man cave, and you may have a really awesome roof deck. So think about things that may be practical, not for now, but in a few years from now. And here at Zola, we make it so easy to do this. Once a guest purchases a gift for you, you'll receive an email notifying you that they've purchased that for you, or if you use our app, you'll receive a notification. From here, you can choose to send the gift directly to yourself if you want it right then and there, or you can hang on to it. You can send it maybe a month from now if you're traveling after your wedding, or maybe a year from now if you are moving or doing a house reno. If you decide that you don't want the gift, you had a change of heart, it happens, no worries at all, you can virtually exchange it on your gift tracker. So all you'll do is log on, and instead of clicking send now, you'll just click return, and then the item will convert into credits, which don't expire, so you can shop when you are ready and find that you need things for your home. And the best part is that you don't have to lug anything to the post office, which is awesome. So if you're on the fence about adding a barbecue grill or an extra set of plates, just add it. It won't hurt and you can always convert it to credits if someone buys it for you. Another popular question that I get all the time, which is one that you're probably thinking of, how many gifts do I add to my registry? Our team created an amazing tool based on feedback that we've heard from hundreds of thousands of couples who have used Zola called Registry Planner. To get started is super simple. First thing is you'll enter in how many guests that you're having. Then you'll put in if you're having an engagement party, a bridal shower, or just the wedding. Finally, you'll enter if you're looking to receive all the physical gifts, just cash gifts, or maybe a mix of both. Then Planner crunches the numbers for you and tells you how many products you should add. It's always more than you think, and that's okay. Guests want some variety, so they want different price points and they want different items to choose from. Guests want to give you something that's really personal but also practical for you and your significant other. I added a KitchenAid stand mixer, not sure if anyone would get that for me, and my aunt did because she's the one who taught me how to bake and knew how important it was to just our relationship but also the family that I was building with my partner. The more gifts that you add to your registry, the more opportunities you are giving your guests to really make that personal connection for both you and your partner and also you and that guest as well. Plus, you get 20% off remaining gifts on your registry for six months after your wedding, which is awesome. Planner also tells you what price points you should add so every guest can afford a gift off of your registry. The best part about Zola's store is that it has literally everything that you could possibly want. I even added a hiking excursion to my registry. Sometimes when you're adding these items, you forget about the everyday essentials like water glasses, a bath towel, or maybe even a really awesome new fry pan. So we made a really awesome registry checklist to make sure that you're adding all of those essential items but still adding the products that make your registry unique.
Sometimes the easiest way to build your registry is to copy other couples' registries, and we encourage it. To make it easy, we keep a running tab of registries we love so you can stay inspired and see what other couples are adding. And of course, you're welcome to look at mine. So those are all the tips that I have for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to shoot me an email. I'm more than happy to help. Cheers and have a great day.